we're going to look at graphing roses. So you can see the formula for the rows. Um, and really what's going to matter about the rows is going to be the number of petals. So let's look. To graph a rose, the length of the petals is A, is your coefficient of either sine or cosine. Um, if the coefficient of theta, your n value, is odd, you will have n petals, that same number. If n is even, you'll have twice that number of petals. To graph this in Alex, we will first choose the rows tool. Next, we'll choose that when once you've chosen that, this will pop up for you to choose your number of petals. And then, unlike the Limassons, when we had the four points that we were definitely checking, here we're going to have to be careful. Um, if we have two theta petals, we just have to be careful with our theta, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, also, think about symmetry. Our cosine roses will have x-axis symmetry, and sine roses will have y-axis symmetry is the easiest way to think about it. So here, um, first, my petal length is the same as that coefficient of cosine, which is 4. We have 2 theta, so n is 2. So our number of petals, we're going to have 4 petals. This is a cosine, so our symmetry is going to be x-axis. So the first thing I'm going to try is if theta is 0, but realize we're talking about 2 theta, right? So we're going to have to pay attention to that in a minute. Um, but right now, 2 times 0 is 0, right? So my ordered pair at 0 is 1, 0. Then I can plug in my cosine value, which is 1, and then I get the ordered pair 4, 0. There we are. So thinking about the next point, I'm going to think about maybe pi over 4 because 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2, and that's a unit circle value, right? Um, so we just have to be careful because you wouldn't want theta to be pi over 3. Well, you could do pi over 3, I guess, and you would get 2 pi over 3. But you can see how if that was a 4 or something, that might not be what we want. So we just choose carefully. There's my ordered pair for pi over 2. I get the ordered pair 0 pi over 4, which is just there in the middle, right? And you're always going to get a point in the middle for the roses just because that's what they look like. So next we'll try pi over 2 because 2 times pi over 2 is pi. We There's our ordered pair plugging in and we get negative 4 pi over 2. There's where that goes, right? But remember now we're talking about x-axis symmetry so I can go ahead and put in its mirror point, right? Its symmetrical point there. So now we know we have four petals. So our fourth one, obviously, that's where it goes, right? Because they're all going to be symmetrical. Um, here, we have a petal length of two. Um, N is three, so we have three petals. This is a sign, so we have um, symmetry on the y-axis. So for our points, again, we'll start with zero. We're looking at three theta. So my ordered pair, plugging in, I have a point at zero, zero. Again, we're always going to have that point, right? So now we have to think about what we want our next theta to be, because three theta has to be something that we can deal with, right? So I chose pi over 3, which gives me pi. There's the ordered pair plugging in. I got 0 pi, which is already there. So clearly I need to try something else. What about pi over 6? That gives me 3 theta as pi over 2. Ordered pair for pi over 2, plugging in. There's my point, 2 pi over 6. We know that we have y-axis symmetry, so I can go ahead and plot that other point. So that's two of my petals. I need a third. What if we try pi over 2? So that gives me 3 pi over 2. There's my ordered pair plug, plugging in negative 2 pi over 2, which is there. And again, you're, you're using the tool, so it's going to start putting the petals in when, as you plot your points. And we'll end up with this. Lastly, here, our petal length is 2. 
we have eight petals here, or four theta, eight. Our symmetry, this is a cosine, so x-axis, and we'll start with zero. Again, we're looking at four theta. There's our point, plug in, we get two theta, two zero, excuse me. Next, remember it's four theta, so let's try pi over four, right? So pi, ordered pair, plugging in, negative two pi over four. So there's negative two pi over four, but we have x-axis symmetry, so I know that point is there as well. Uh, another thing I can try, since it's pi over, since it's four theta, excuse me, is pi over two, because that'll give me two pi. Plotting my point, I get two pi over two. There we are. Again, we have x-axis symmetry, so I know that point there. And if there's eight petals and they're going to be symmetric, we can see where the other three must go. And that's what it would look like in Alex.